Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, I did start my vinyl and I forget that I should do a video <laughs> about my uh, vinyl. Um, I will give you some trick, but um, for the vinyl, uh, I have a bunch of vinyl. I want to try, what I want to say is uh, I'm not sure uh, which vinyl I'm going to use for uh, the arcade panel. So I buy a bunch. Uh, I, I really like the, um, the car carbon fiber, the black, the most common one, the black one. Uh, I did try on my four player board, the carbon, uh, but it was not great on the four, big four player, it was not great. So I print my uh, Crisco Mud uh, banner was okay uh, by the way you need something matte I know it look glossy but it's not glossy it's reflecting but don't buy a vinyl that is uh, glossy because the glossy with the um, uh, acrylic doesn't match you will see all the uh, watermark and stuff so you need something matte I know those vinyl, they look, they're not glossy actually. I, I did try with the vinyl and it's okay, it doesn't, it's not glossy. It's kind of reflecting light, but it's not glossy. So for fun, I did order a, a marine blue, a carbon fiber white, uh, orange, and I have a bunch to come red, uh, green. Uh, I may do, uh, this is the orange, uh, I may, Ah, the green looked like this. It looked like Ninja Turtle, so maybe for fun, I will practice, but I will, uh, I will combine color. Let's say two colors split, but in a way with uh, different design. Uh, I will play with that. I will do some design, but for now, I'm doing basic stuff, just one color. But after a few weeks of practice and a month, I will do some uh, design. I do not have a printing vinyl at home. It's really expensive. And in Canada, buying vin printing vinyl, you know, design printing uh, stuff, it's expensive. So I try to do something cool with vinyl that I can buy uh, locally. Uh, I will find a design. So for this video, uh, it will be the Marine Blue, uh, Marine Blue uh, Carbon uh, Fiber, okay? Uh, what I did before the video is, uh, I know water and wood doesn't go. It's not great to put vinyl, but you need to clean your wood. Even if you're sure it's clean, you need to clean it. So what I did is I just took a rag. I just put water on the rag a little bit. Okay, very kind of wet rag. And I put a bunch of... Uh, I call um, rubbing I call on the rag. And what you do when you finish cutting your board, you clean it. You clean your board with the rag and the alcohol, all right? And after what I did, I cut a piece about the size of my board. Makes sense. I know I, I will have a leftover I will use for other stuff. And what you do is you split in half. You peel it half. You never peel it uh, completely. You just peel it half. And you take your uh, uncover wrap. You size it. And after you start, and you're going slow, slowly, and you go. Um, see, now I have to do it again. Uh, this is the hole that why well, you see some uh, weight, but it's because there is the, the hole. So I forget to start the video when I was putting the uh, the vinyl. So my idea for the vinyl to be very flush with the acrylic and the wood 
I do not cut it right now. Oh, I just use a, a plastic for vinyl. And I put a, a case underneath. I'm gonna show you why, because I'm gonna put the bottom. I'm gonna cut it with the uh, acrylic on top, okay? So just to make sure before I put the acrylic, everything is flush. I also got an ID, but I didn't make use it. But it's a, a warm gun at low, maybe just a little bit warm, not eating the vinyl. If I got problem with the vinyl, because vinyl when it's cold, it's very uh, hard, but it's feel okay. I'm not gonna use it, but it maybe can be a trick. Just just put a little bit warm on it and work the bubble and stuff, but for now it's fine. I'm not gonna use it. So, all right. All right, I'm gonna put the, also I clean my table with alcohol and water and I clean my, um, anyway, anyway, I can remove it after and clean it, but, just make sure you don't have dust everywhere. And so I did four oh. I did four oh. You're gonna understand to match. See the bottom fit perfectly. It fit perfectly, and also we moved just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit. So now it's fixed with four buttons. I did buy a vinyl um, cutter on Amazon. You need to buy a real cutter. Don't use your old uh, <laughs> cutter. Buy a brand new cutter, it works so nice. And after, I'm gonna do all the hole. And um, I'm gonna cut around. So, because I did uh, this one with the black and I cut it, uh, I cut it um, with the wood. Anyway, I prefer this technique. I'm gonna cut on the board, so it's gonna follow the, the edge and everything's gonna be tight. I'm not gonna keep those uh, those vinyl round to put on top of the bottom like some other do. It's a good idea, but it's not a design, so uh, I'm not gonna put those on the... Some people, they put it on the, the bottom for the gold, uh, golden leaf. But uh, no. So the best way is to cut it with your uh, acrylic. You can cut it without the acrylic, just the wood, but I don't want it to move. So to make sure the, the vinyl doesn't move, I put some bottom already. So I know every cut's gonna be perfect aligned. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna cut the, the screw off. But I uh, will find a way later. Oh, there is small bow. Okay, those buttons, I do not receive those two buttons. <laughs> but uh, those buttons, where's my button? I replaced though, okay, it was, this is the Patco uh, switch. But I don't like the square shape on top of the uh, arcade. So I ordered the same type, the same switch, but it's round, but it's bigger. So um, it, there will go on the boat. So both sides gonna be two switch. And in the middle, I buy those tiny uh, switch. So those one will go there. So let's try if my, I did a good job. 
Let's try those buttons. Yeah, see? Oh, I have the, the cap still on it. So everything, I, I'm amazed how everything is perfectly, uh, perfectly cut with my CMC, it's amazing. Yeah, building um, an arc, uh, arcade cab, it's, it's a lot of uh, work. The design, the cutting, you're not allowed to do any mistake. That's why I did, uh, I'm doing a few board to really practice and make sure uh, I'm not gonna do any mistake. Ah, see, it's easy to, uh, to cut. Um, they drop down. So at the end, I, I will cut around. I do not have the T-molding to show you uh, on this video because I changed uh, 5 8 to uh, I changed three quarter to five eight, and I cut on my last video for uh, for four eight the molding that I will receive in a few days. It chip, but uh, so my idea for this one, I'm, I'm gonna do it white for now. And the case is going to be white. So uh, I'm testing different color, different style. I can remove it. I can remove the vinyl and do another color and practice. Also, I will do a video. I, I'm not doing now, but um, I want to do some engraving uh, with my CNC machine. The CNC machine has, a, has an engraved uh, bit. And I can do some design around the button. I can write, I can write the name of the, the buyer for the, my two arcade bar. I can put Triscoll Mud, um, the name or arcade, or uh, I can write and, and I can do design. And what's gonna happen is when the light's gonna, I have two set of light going underneath to separate lead. And everywhere, there is engrave, the light's gonna come out. So, uh, really amazing. Yeah, I have two set of light. Why? Because I ordered, this is the, um, the black Samitsu, Samitsu. It's transparent, but I just realized they have the full, the full button. It's completely uh, transparent. So I will add two set of LED light, strip light, with button underneath the, cup, the top to change color. So player two can be red and the other one can be purple. All right. So. Uh, so it will make two sets of buttons, different color. Okay, I'm gonna keep those. Uh, I have the set. I'm sure I put the, uh, anyway. So uh, I know black and, and uh, blue doesn't fit, so it's gonna be uh, all transparent button. Amazing. Where's my, uh, I'm going to pick up my track balls. To show you that it fit perfectly. Look at that. It fit like a glove. Doesn't move. I work, it's very hard to design the hole because I did uh, like six 
I repeat six times the, the design to make sure the track bar when it, it drops because it's got a, a weird, um, it's a very slim edge and it's got his angle. Uh, so it need to be millimeter uh, precise, but now it's perfect. It fit and it perfect. And because there is a cut, the light's gonna come out underneath the track ball. Okay, let's cut the, um, the outside. Okay, I'm gonna put more buttons because I don't want the... Let's put two blue, a blue and a red just for fun. Yeah, blue is nice, but the black and blue, black doesn't go with the uh, light. Um. All right, let's cut it. Hey, the best way to learn is to do it yourself and try it. Perfect with the uh, T molding will be amazing. I really like the chrome T molding. Because I designed my board, I did a cut, this one, and I realized there is a few mistakes, the round was not enough round, there it was. So you need to try and practice until you satisfy with your uh, design. So now it's cut perfectly. The cut, the vinyl cut match the, uh, the board. And anyway, the Timo thing goes on top. Oh, wow. I really like it. I'm gonna keep this. the base maybe I can show you this is my black you can see the black base this is for a test okay don't this, oh, look I'm gonna show you because I'm practicing to um, it's not tin molding it looks like tin molding but it's um, I don't know what they called it but it's it's made for 5.8 uh, uh, MDF and it cover all the edges. It's like a T molding, but without the T, it's a U, T, U molding. So I try, I'm practicing, I'm gonna do some, uh, I just buy the uh, cutter to do some nice angles. So the, don't, don't look at this now, it's gonna change. But uh, this is all uh, uh, carbon fiber. But the black doesn't fit with the uh, blue. Black doesn't fit with blue, so it's gonna be white, plus the team molding. So it's gonna be amazing. And the two, uh, the two joystick. I really like the blue, seriously. It just depends uh, on the button. White button's gonna be great. White, white and blue uh, is going together really great. Uh, but transparent, 
with the um, I will have my button soon. So that's all for the my vinyl. I'm gonna wait for my uh, tea molding, and I will have fun to try all other color and match. But I know white button. Where's my white button? I'm gonna try. Uh, I just want to show you white button. This is all my uh, Senmo, uh, Saimitsu button. See, I did, I did buy a, a full bag with a bunch of color. Do I, oh, I have a white. Look at that. I'm gonna show you that blue and white is going up. Blue and white is going. Blue, white and red, it's perfect. But black is not great. Black doesn't go with the, uh, see this is white. White is amazing. So maybe I will do a white and red and blue in the future. I will propose, I will have on my site a few uh, different design with different type of button and it will be amazing. All right guys, thanks for watching. This is the blue car carbon fiber. I just cut today the uh, uh, fiberglass and I just cut today the, uh, the, uh, the wood. It's perfectly amazing. Really, really like it. I will do more video about the design, different uh, combination. We will have, have fun. Orange, green, red. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, if you're interested my board when I'm going to really like it and it's going to be finished um, it will be uh, for sale at chriscolmod.com and it will be a nice product, a nice board based on the uh, Patco, Patco, this one, the new, I have a full video with the Patco, so it's going to be really well made. The best board in the world. Retrobis is the best and this board is going to be the best. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.